He didn't call them music videos. He called them short films. I would often make mistake using that term, music video, and he would reprimand me right away. Spike, it's not a, we're not doing a music video, we're doing a short film. I said, okay, Michael, I'm sorry. Off the Wall was a, the launching pad. Everything that became happened because of Off the Wall, and again, Michael and Quincy Jones meeting on uh, the movie The Wiz. This documentary, we deal with Michael from the lead singer of Jackson 5 up to Off the Wall. His first of three albums with Quincy Jones and his first adult album. Of the three, uh, this Off the Wall is my favorite album. Of course, Thrill is still the all time selling album. After Thrill, everything changed. There became a time in his career where controversy seemed to eclipse him artistically. Do you feel that that makes this sort of a, a more appealing period for you personally in terms of looking at Michael? Well, what you just said was the, the manifesto from the beginning. Both these documentaries I've done on Michael Jackson focus on the music. So all the other stuff we're not even dealing with. So in a sense, could you say, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you're almost recapturing the artist? I don't know. I mean, that's a good word, but you might say a lot of people need to be reminded. Mm -hmm. And then what about the young generations who might only know Michael because of the other BS mm -hmm. and not the music? So we're focusing on the music. I think people are very eager to talk about how much they love Michael, how much Michael affected who they are. Look what Kobe Bryant says. Kobe Bryant can't sing. But he said, you know, Michael had a great influence on him playing basketball. We wanted to have people who worked with him on the album, and also people who weren't even born when the album came out, and how that album, Michael's music, after that has influenced their own music. Artists like Pharrell, Questlove, The Weeknd. I always use Michael as, first and foremost, as a vocal inspiration. And Off the Wall was definitely the one that made me feel like I could sing. I found my falsetto because of Off the Wall. Don't stop till you get enough. In this particular documentary, is race a theme as well? It's not a theme, but we touch upon it. It was a theme when MTV wouldn't play Billie Jean, and Walt Yentikoff, the president of CBS, had to call Bob Pittman and say, unless you play Billie Jean, we're pulling, all, we're pulling off uh, Bruce Springsteen and everybody else on CBS on our label off if you don't play Billie Jean. Do you look back at that time and say, man, we've come a a long way since then. You seen Oscars? I believe I have. Well. So I guess you're saying we haven't come a long way. You know what his look says, right? <laughs> no comment? No, it's the Brooklyn look at you sideways. Uh, all right, I'll, sideways, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take the it. Brooklyn sideways looks. <laughs> <laughs> so you've done two Michael Jackson documentaries, still a lot of career left. Could you go back and potentially do more? Well, I would like to do Thriller, and I would call it quits after that. The trilogy, let someone else take it on. My dreams to your kiss, no sooner.